بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم یو ار واچنگ دیسی ٹی وی یو ایس اے اینڈ آئی ایم ڈاکٹر سہریش عالم لیٹس ہیو اے کوئک لک آن ٹو ڈیز کرنٹ نیوز میجر جنرل بابر افتخار ڈی جی آئی ایس پی آر کنوے ڈی بیسٹ کمپلیمنٹس فرام پاکستانس آرمڈ فورسز ٹو پیپل ریپبلک آف چائنا آن دی سیونٹی سیکنڈ اینیورسری آف چائنا ہی سیٹ دا ڈسکلوز کولیبوریشن بٹوین ٹو نیشن اسپینس over a vital canvas than ever before, ranging from the United Diplomatic Front to extensive defense collaboration in numerous joint projects to the strategic initiative like CPEC. Pakistani army if fully prepared and determined to ensure the security of CPEC. People's Republic of China, I convey deepest compliments from Pakistan Armed Forces to People's Republic of China. Pakistan Armed Forces and the people of Pakistan take great pride in a deep-rooted relationship spanning over seven decades. Today, this enviable relationship, which has stood the test of time, finds no parallel in the world. China is a great nation, which has not only developed itself, but also contributed immensely to the global well-being under its visionary leadership. We all know that China has been Pakistan's all-weather friend and closest strategic partner. This close collaboration spans over a wider canvas than ever before, ranging from United Diplomatic Front, extensive defense collaboration in numerous joint projects to the strategic initiatives like China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. In recent years, CPEC, a shining example of deep-rooted friendship between our two countries has started realizing fruition, taking our relationship to new heights. Pakistan Army is fully prepared and determined to ensure the security of this game-changing project for the region. PLA and Pakistan Armed Forces have made immense sacrifices to protect and safeguard the sovereignty and territorial integrity of our countries respectively. But what is distinct and unique about PLA as well as Pakistan Army is their immense passion and contributions towards nation building besides their traditional role of defense and war fighting. Another testimony of our great friendship is the help rendered by Chinese nation to Pakistan in fighting COVID-19. This Chinese support, both in experience sharing and material domain, has been critical in our efforts to contain the worst ravages of the pandemic. In the evolving global and regional security milieu, Pakistan-China relations have become increasingly important for regional peace and stability. While the defense and security relations have traditionally remained the backbone of our relationship, we have now taken solid and irreversible steps towards building an ecosystem of shared destiny, wherein economic prosperity remains at the heart of our vision. Veteran Pakistani comedian Omar Sharif passed away in Germany on Saturday. The renowned artist was traveling to the U.S. for treatment after a long illness. He was 66. The news was confirmed by Dr. Muhammad Faisal, Pakistan's ambassador to Germany, who sent out a tweet in tribute of the comedy legend. With deep sorrow, it is announced that Mr. Omar Sharif has passed away. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki is holding a briefing. You are seeing the highlights. ...ability to dispute claims denied by their health plan. This builds on a rule that was issued in July. Together, these new regulations will ensure that consumers are protected from most surprise bills, that, uh, that consumers know how much health care will cost before getting care, and that providers, health, uh, health plans, and issuers have a process to settle payment disputes. Uh, also wanted to just give you a brief 
uh, 3,000 foot on the week ahead, uh, and we'll have more as the weekend proceeds. Uh, of course, throughout the weekend and next week, the President will continue to make the case uh, for his Build Back Better agenda and the bipartisan infrastructure deal. Uh, also, he will be working with the Senate on the debt limit uh, after Republicans voted twice this week to default. And toward the middle of the week, the President will travel across the country to make the case for his Build Back Better agenda and to, to discuss his administration's work to increase uh, COVID-19 vaccine nations defeat the pandemic and build an economy that works for all. Next Friday is, of course, Jobs Day. You can expect he'll deliver some remarks on the economy. And as always, we'll provide with uh, you with more details as we have them. Zeke, why don't you kick us off? We surged a range of resources, including food, medical care, and assistance to make sure that people were getting exactly what they needed. I'd also note that uh, an immediate medical issue is also an exemption for Title 42 and something that we would work to take care of uh, immediately. All right, guys, thank you so much. Kashmir Committee Chairman Sher Yar Khan Afri, the participated in meet and greet program organized by Council Pakistan American Congress in Houston, USA. General of Pakistan, Abrar Hashmi, Harun Sahib of Pakistan American Professional Business Association and Farasawati, Vice President were present on the occasion. The event was also attended by the key leaders of the Pakistan, Kashmiri and Sikh movements. Minister of Affairs of Denmark, Chip Kofod, calls on Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan in Islamabad. Prime Minister Imran Khan said that the positive messages and constructive measures by the international community would help to prevent instability in Afghanistan and mass exodus of refugees. He expressed satisfaction at the growing cooperation between the two countries. The Danish Foreign Minister appreciated Prime Minister's 10 billion tree initiative and a range of measures taken by the Pakistan towards climate resilient development. Minister of Foreign Affairs of Pakistan, Shah Mahmood Qureshi, shares dossier on Indian war crimes by the Indian forces in occupied Jammu and Kashmir with Danish counterpart Jeb Kofod. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi presented to his Danish counterpart Jeb Kofod the dossier based on the irrefutable evidence of atrocities and war crimes committed by the Indian forces in occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The Foreign Minister shared the document at a luncheon hosted in honor of the FM Kofod here at Ministry of the Foreign Affairs. Foreign Secretary Suhail Mahmood, Special Secretary Raza Bashir Tarar, Pakistan's Ambassador to Denmark Ahmad Farooq and Senior Ministry officials attended the luncheon. The Danish Foreign Minister presented a commemorative shield to Foreign Minister Qureshi appreciating Pakistan's assistance in the safe evacuation of Danish citizens from Kabul. Addressing the 72nd National Day of the founding of China, Chinese Ambassador to Pakistan Nong Rong said, China and Pakistan will contribute to work hand in hand to build closer China-Pakistan relations and contribute to human progress. Foreign Secretary Suhail Mahmood and Chinese Ambassador Mr. Nong Rong cutting the cake to celebrate the 72nd Chinese National Day. Foreign Secretary reaffirmed the resolve to take the time-tested all-weather strategic and to a higher level between cooperative partnership. That's all for now. Keep watching DC TV USA and don't forget to click our link tree to explore the world of social media. Thank you.